Jammer and I'm back with the Gen Music Show and I'm absolutely excited to be interviewing two footballers this week, Wes Harding and ex-professional Dave Barnett. We're going to be talking music, faith and culture. So check out this interview, We're going to, it's going to be live, it's DJ Jammo, it's the Gen Music Show. Welcome people, it's DJ Jammo and this is how we get down every week. It's the Gen Music Show and I'm absolutely blessed to have two special guests with me. You know how we do. It's it's none other than I'm absolutely excited. I'm gassed. I can't even talk properly. So yo, we've got two special guests, none other than two professional footballers, one ex-professional. It's Wes and Dave. Dave Barnett, Wes Harding. How you doing, fellas? Yeah, man. So listen, thanks for coming on the show. I know um, you know, it was short notice. I kind of like hollered at you, Dave. I was like, yo, Dave, can you make this happen? You know, we want to talk faith. We want to talk football. We want to talk music. Man, just call my phone yesterday. I was like, yeah, we can make it happen. So this has been like a real kind of like on my toes. So thank you for making it happen. How you guys doing, man? Good, man. Yeah? yeah good, good, good. So nice well. good stuff. So both Blues Defenders. X, X, existing, X, existing, 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 one the X. Legs, the legs are still working. <laughs> right, 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 yeah. right. So, first of Wes, I want to start with you, my friend. I know you started off at you started off at Villa, mm. and you made a transition to Blues. Yeah, man. Well, to be fair, I was from a lot younger. I was at Leicester. Right. Um, only on trial, but then I got in at Coventry. Mm -hmm. Did all right there. Ended up getting released into Villa. Now did well. Um, again, got released, but we move again. Yeah. Got into blues. Been there ever since, man. I'm enjoying it. I hear that, man. So, how was that transition moving from pretty local clubs, pretty rival mm. clubs, mm. and then, you know, ending up at blues? What was that transition um, like for you? I have to admit, it wasn't too hard, man. I got the right people around me in terms of my family. Mm -hmm. uh, Mum and dad have always been there, always been good with me. So, yeah, yeah. It made it quite smooth for me as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. up and down the motorway. And I like, hear that. I hear that. Um, all good. So what about the fans? Any stick from them? Not really. Uh, everybody well, good? Not really, no. I, like, I wasn't, when I was at Villa, well, when I got released from Villa, I was about 15, so okay. the fans didn't know me like that. Right, 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 right. Um, I know, I see a couple of fans on Twitter, they like to get the fans <laughs> at Villa, but I, yeah, love, yeah. I love that type of stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love the stick. Ah, it's all good, bro. A bit of banter. Dave, mm. you was a bit similar as well, but there was a bit of a gap with you because you were uh, started off at Wolves. And you ended up at Blues, I believe? Yeah, but the pathways are similar, to be honest with you. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. I got released mm -hmm. at uh, Wolverhampton Wonders when I was 16, that's why I didn't get my scholarship. Mm -hmm. And then I had to forage my way through the non-league mm -hmm. route, really. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then eventually played for Barnet, and then from Barnet got bought, uh, it was Kidderminster Barnet, mm -hmm. and then to Birmingham City. You know, but uh, similar to, to Wes, I think what it does, it really makes you determine mm. that, that, because it is painful to be Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. it also builds character. Yeah, you yeah. Know? yeah. So when you ultimately get to, you know, playing professionally, mm. you've got the mental strength and capacity to, to deal, deal with it. it. Deal with it, Yeah, definitely. So both in the faith, both believers, starting with you, Dave, how did your journey begin in faith? But Where did that start for you? About two hours? No, no, no. We want the, we want the condensed version, bro. No, we want, the, we, want, we want the real short one. The, the real short version, I was brought up in church in, in Handsworth. Um, we got Handsworth. In, 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 I've got to put Handsworth in. The <laughs> We're there. Yeah. And um, the truth be known, even though I knew that was something which the seed had been planted, mm -hmm. I didn't follow through. Mm. You know, at, at 2021, I was involved with Christians in sports, in fact. Right, right. And uh, truth be known, as, as I sort of got into it and understood mm. Christianity more and I was seeking it, it's, it's then I got my opportunity to play at a higher level. Right. And uh, at Birmingham City, mm -hmm. and my faith then took a back seat. Right. You know, so mm. I hadn't been practicing that. It was mm. one foot in, one foot out. In fact, yeah. most, most of the times it was both feet out. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, I most, most definitely. Mm. So what about you, Wes? How did your journey begin? Again, similarly to Dave, um, I grew up in church, but mm -hmm. back then for me, church was a chore, man. I like, hear that, bro. Forced to go, mm. but again, you, know, you have to go. But um, how old was I? Was it like three, four years ago? Um, I started to you know, read my Bible a bit more, mm -hmm. and um, 
I was in Diggs at the time, right? Um, at Birmingham City, mm -hmm. and I was staying with um, a family or well, a couple who are they're deep in their faith, and I feel they influence me in ways as well. Mm. But um, my mom and my dad randomly, well, I've got a Bible app, and mm -hmm. um, I do plans on there. Baptism came up, and I, like, it was kind of random to me. Then all of a sudden, I had a conversation with someone. They brought up baptism. Mm. I was praying and it came, that like, baptism came to me. Then my mum and dad said, yeah, in about three or four weeks time, we're getting baptised. Okay. So that's what I was thinking, yo, mm. God's talking mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. Decided to hop on it with them mm -hmm. and yeah, I got baptised. It was the October the 15th, three years ago now. Mm. So um, from there, it's just been, it's been a bit up and down. Yeah. Um, I've been in and out, I'm finding it hard to stay in it yeah but you know i'm trying trying so what are some of the challenges you face um being a footballer being in that world and and the conflicts of of your faith being in football is there's nothing being within that field there's nothing to do with god within it mm. so it's like it's easy to go off the rails right like the conversations you have it's all women, money, mm. yeah, me all greed, this and that, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm. So I'm just trying to be, stay within myself in that yeah, area, yeah, but yeah. at the same time trying to affect others mm -hmm. without being infected. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so that's that's within football. Outside of it, I feel like I've got friends around me who are now on their journey as well. Right. So that does help. Mm. Um, but it really, I'm regularly going to church now. Mm. I feel I'm seeking God more. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you, Dave? It's just interesting sitting next to us. I, I feel my age now, to be honest <laughs> with you. You know, yeah. um, and hearing those challenges mm. because I think it's, it, I think it's key to just be transparent. Yeah, yeah. That's important. Yeah, important because, uh, as I said, it, it, it was initially I was going to church, mm. nineteen twenty. Yeah, and I knew that was a calling yeah. and the way I should live mm -hmm. my life. Mm -hmm. But it was all the other things which were pulling me, yeah. especially when I signed for Birmingham City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because anything and everything was accessible then. Right. Mm -hmm. So uh, God was at the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, God was pushed to the, back, mm -hmm. to the background. But even though I knew, mm -hmm. and I was having conversations, even with myself, mm -hmm. when I was in the depth of doing whatever I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And I was off the chain. Mm -hmm. I hold my hands up. I was off the chain. Mm -hmm. You know, um, anything and everything which was temporary, mm. I was involved with. Mm -hmm. and, and all the things which, which Wes has mentioned, yeah, yeah. whether it be, you know, glorifying and putting, there's a, there's a lot of pride, there's a lot of yeah. ego, yeah. There's, uh, it's money orientated, mm. um, it's, it's women orientated, mm. and everything's short term. Yeah. But it's a selfish way of living. Yeah. You know, and then you come full circle round. Mm. And again, it's interesting how, you know, as I said, the last three or four years, yeah. then having had an, a cycle of life, mm. the way I've lived, mm -hmm. you have to sit down and go, okay, so how much of this has been purposeful? Mm. How much of this has been depth? Mm. Um, and does it ultimately bring you joy yeah because I can tell you yeah I can tell you we've got another 15 programs to go through the the, the, the ups and downs yeah. and the pitfalls mm. and the traps yeah because the devil's a liar yeah yeah definitely <laughs> definitely it, it'll, it'll, it'll mess your mind up mm. and, and make mm. you think that these short-term gratifications mm. which bring long-term problems yeah which I've been through then, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know I've been through and I, and I said I think it takes you up to a place where the Lord takes away pride and yeah. you know, humility and mm -hmm. it makes you humble and goes yeah. Your story can ultimately help somewhere, someone. Yeah. You know, mm. rather than holding it in and mm. not revealing, yeah, it yeah. doesn't reflect on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the gloves yeah. are off now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, and I know now mm. that, that the happiness and contentment mm. that doesn't mean that he doesn't want you to have certain things which are advantageous and, mm. and you can be a millionaire, mm. a billionaire, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it's your purpose within it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And I think that is key purpose. You know, finding that. So with that, with all that being said, um, Wes, what do you think would be uh, beneficial? What do you think would be some of the things that would help, you know, um, strengthen you or, or some of the things you could put in place to maybe, I don't know, strengthen your faith in, in that arena? I honestly don't. Um, perhaps have more people 
on my journey within my yeah. field. Yeah. Um, if there are more people speaking out on it. Yeah. Uh, people that have helped me is uh, the club chaplain. Right. Um, who's the pastor of the church I now go to. Okay. He's he's helped me a lot. Just be just having someone in and around the building. Yeah. Who. He knows what I'm going through yeah. in some sort of way, mm. and he's there to go and, and speak to and pray with. Yeah, and I like I know I can, I can read other people well. So I see other people thinking this guy's a weirdo kind of thing, <laughs> looking at him. But yeah. I know yeah, yeah, he's yeah. there to help me, and yeah, yeah. I'm happy with that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. yeah, to answer your question, probably have more people around. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Anything yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, that's in any sphere of life. You know, having people that you can talk to, yeah. um, people you can offload on, people you can be transparent with. So, mm. I mean, yeah. yeah, that's definitely. What about you, Dave? What do you think? Looking back on your career, what do you think would have helped you um, help your faith? Where I where I initially started, there was only uh, Graham Daniel, Daniels, mm -hmm. who was involved in Christian sport, Gavin Peacock, oh, yeah. Alan Comfort. There were only a few guys who were in and around, but then I quickly backslid and, and I led a different life. Mm -hmm. And then since then, there have been a number of Christian footballers come yeah. to the forefront. Yeah. Um, and I know going full circle again, who was of, uh, of major influence to myself, mm -hmm. was, was a good friend of mine, was Cyril. Yeah. You know, because then I could genuinely have conversations mm. which I was struggling with yeah, and yeah, battling yeah. with, mm. but he could because he was a sportsman himself, mm. he could really empathise with me, yeah. not just understand. Yeah. Mm. You know, and there's yeah. a big difference yeah. because he's actually gone through the challenges and and the pitfalls himself. Mm. You know, and I think for the younger generation coming coming um, up up and coming, mm -hmm. huge significant challenges. Yeah, definitely. You know, with the media, it's a different Social ball game media. to when I played. The media mm, for them now, mm. the expectation, mm. the pressure, and you know. Um, instant gratification yeah. there. It's that guidance, yeah. and if you haven't got the right sort of mentor. Yeah, structure, ship, mentorship, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and support system, you can easily fall off the rails. Yeah, I Easily that. fall off the rails. Mm. So I think it's, it's, it's onus is on creating, mm -hmm. having a great church, obviously it's a relationship first and foremost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, and having that really supporting church you go to, yeah. which understands, and then yeah, you yeah. build relationships from it, and yeah, that's yeah. not ostracizing anybody outside yeah, 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 yeah. in any way whatsoever. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have different friends. Mm. Um, but I think also for, for those who are a little bit more experienced in, in life and, yeah. and sport, to help mm. the younger generation in, in a relaxed manner, so they yeah. can go without being judged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the key. Yeah. You know, because at the end of the day, God looks at our heart. There you go, you know? there you go. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm, I'm guessing you're that guy right about now, Dave, where the youngins are pulling us. Where's, I, you pull on Dave? I don't Fall know, Dave, I, like don't Yo, know. Dave. <laughs> I don't know enough to be honest, but yeah. I've got I've got a few people. I've yeah. yeah, I hear so that, man. I hear that. I'm quite, yeah, I'm set nicely. At yeah, nah, that's good, that's good. It's good stuff, people. This is how we get down. It's uh, the Gen Music Show, and we're getting a little bit deep. We're going to switch up in a little bit, but I want to talk um, a little bit about music. Because I know um, music, it's 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 a it's a language that everybody listens to. It's a language that everybody understands. And I know for music, footballers, it plays a big part in, in what they do and their build-up. So, uh, starting with you, Wes, how does music... Uh, coming to your life, preparation for football, games, all that type of stuff. How, how, how does it work for you? I don't think it even... I don't think I think about it much. Mm -hmm. I don't listen to certain music before... I just slap my thing on shuffle and... Ah, listen, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I am realising more and more now how much bad that stuff I listen to. Right, right, um, right. I haven't grew up in... Caribbean Jamaican culture mm -hmm. you know, all the <laughs> music we listen to yeah yeah it's yeah like, it's not all of it is good mm. um so it is hard to come away with it when that's all you know right 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 on. but um I'm learning more and more yeah it's not right I hear that I hear that uh what about you Dave how was music was music a big part of your preparation for a game or just just generally how was how was music uh, implemented in your life and your professional We grew career. up in an era of John Holt. Wow. And Sunday. Wow. Sunday afternoon, blasting out so the neighbours can hear. Wow. Roger, you know about John Holt. Days. 
Yeah. <laughs> that's why, that's why I called Jones. him out because I nah, paid out the contract. He thinks he's a footballer. <laughs> <laughs> John <laughs> Hall. Oh, some you know? classics. Yeah, 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 bro. Deep. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So great memories, mm. you know, of unity as mm. well, growing up in Andrew. Yeah. Um, uh, and that was typical of the, the front room, front room mm. with the plaster cover. Yeah. You can't go in. And <laughs> they get catching that front room, bro. <laughs> you know, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and then going on from there, obviously the era of, as we mentioned before, didn't we? Luther Van Dross and yeah, yeah. Freddie Jackson, mm. Alexandra O'Neill. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Proper music, yeah, yeah, yeah. lyrics, big, big, big people music, uh, big, big, music. big people music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's good, man. So, what are you listening to at the minute, Dave? What's on your? What's on? What are you listening to in your car right, uh, right now? Well, I'm trying to get away from the music my son listens to. To be honest, with you, mm-hmm. when he comes in and puts it on, okay. which is interesting. Yeah, it's interesting because, um, as as Wes just said, the. the the influence of some of the lyrics, yeah. some of this music, it might be catchy beats, yeah, but yeah, when yeah. you actually get down and listen to what's being said, lyrics, yeah. Yeah. and if you're con- constantly listening to that, mm-hmm. it's got to have a, some form of influence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. fortunately, I've got that kind of relationship with my son. Right, I can right. have the, those conversations. Yes. But it is what's happening now. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a major influence yeah, 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 for young yeah. people. Yeah, yeah. But we, I think now, mm. as an older generation and as a father, mm. and and grandfather now, you know, I can't even... Just embrace it, it, bro. Embrace it, bro. Embrace you know, it. I've, I've got to, I've, you know. <laughs> embrace it, bro. I'm, you, you can't call me papa, though. You can't call me papa. You can't yeah. call me grandfather. No, no, you're, you're, not having, you're not grandad I've ban, yet. I've banned that. You've banned that. I've banned it. Not having it yet. I've banned it. Not yet. Mm-mm, not mm-hmm. yet. Not yet. Still in denial. <laughs> but we've, we've, we've got, we've got, we've got a, a responsibility to have those conversations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it, it can lead the young people down a direction which... Not necessarily edifying. Mm, for real. So where's what are you listening to at the minute? Oh, Where yeah, are they, bro? Meek Mills. Yeah. Okay. Well, in America, that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mills, yeah. Little babies, yeah. young folks. And wow. Like, I don't want to say his That's name. all good, bro. It's but, all um, good. Yeah, Tion Wayne, that's my guy in, yeah. in England. Um, I was at his concert not long ago. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's cool. That type of thing. All right. So we're going to have to, we're going to have to introduce you to some, uh, some, Still shady, okay. Some marvelous, marvelous, bro. You need to check out this brother. Marvelous, bro. This brother bringing it. Uh, who else we got? Uh, some God over money. Where they from? The whole record label. These uh, marvelous is from London. Uh, still shady is from London. Yeah. Uh, God over money. That's a whole record label. They're from US. Yeah, bring me in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna hook you up, bro. I'm gonna hook mm. you up. I'm gonna hook you up. Uh, Governor B, even Governor B. Yeah, you know I mean. No, no, but them no, no, no. <laughs> bro. Don't worry, bro. You're gonna be left there, change, man. Trust me. Okay. <laughs> so again, you know, um, music I know is real in vital. So yeah, man. So you know what? We've talked deep. We're gonna go into one of my favorite parts of the show. It's our quick fire round. This is where we talk. I'm gonna ask you some questions. I need one answer from you. Yeah, just one. Just one. Just mm-hmm. one. The last show we had, it got deep. Man <laughs> nearly got rolled upon. It was, <laughs> we got argumentative. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So Coming it's our peace. quick, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's our quick fire round. We were just gonna ans- ask you one, ask you a question. I just want one answer. Uh, so this one's for you, Dave. Actually, for the both of you. Var, yes or no? Yes. Yes. Really? Yeah. If used correctly. You know, I f- you know, what I feel. I feel like the, the the refs are using it as a cop out. I really do feel like they're just they're just not even they're scared now. Like anything, I think there's a procedure, isn't it? It's just starting up now. Yeah. The, the whole effort, essence of it. Yeah, yeah. To quantify. Yeah, yeah. To measure the right right decision. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is right to have it, but now they're going through a process. It's like a pilot. Yeah. Where you're going to get so many ditches. Yeah. And that's right now, there's so many different grey areas. Yeah. It's making it more complicated than necessary. That's what I mean. That's like, what I'd say. Yeah, you know, the slight offside and somebody scores. I'm like, uh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I mean. Well, VAR it's, comes in and say, no goal. I'm like, oh, come on. My my <laughs> issue is the handballs and the, yeah, yeah. it's all right for a defender in a defensive mm. position, but not an attacker for a, like, I just think it should all just have a set rule to see yeah, what it is yeah. for everybody. I hear that. I hear that. Yeah. It is difficult with, with them literally being two yeah. inches offside. This what I'm saying. Like, I mean, yeah. how's that influence? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I, and I think the human, the human element 
from the referees brought an element of drama. Yes, if it goes against you, mm. you're going to feel vexed and it goes against your team. But I just yeah. feel like sometimes that human error to a game. Just let it, yeah, 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 do you know what I mean? It it just takes, yeah, it's just the drama of a game. Like, That's yeah, true. you know what I mean? A penalty was given in the 93rd minute, but it was a dive. Yeah. And, you know, that whole drama around it is kind of like taking away a little bit. Even That's when goals are scored as well and it's like, can we celebrate? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I it's a restriction yeah, on it. Yeah, it? yeah it's so it's just a bit. Mm. I think the students just have the protocol, shouldn't they? That they do in the US. Yeah. Where there's a timeline on it. The, the crowd know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. It's it's going to be ten seconds. Boom. No go, go. Yeah. And it's keep and it going. On. What? And there's only so many. What games? What sports? Hmm? What sports? That would. Well, they do, they'll do it in American football, don't they? Uh, I don't know. Do it in American know, football? Yeah. 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 And yeah. MLS. Yeah. 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 But, and, it, and maybe there's only certain decisions which can be challenged. Rather than yeah. Right everything. now, it's everything. anything and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So that it can get stopped quite frequently. Yeah. There you go. And it loses the Crazy. essence of the game. So, all right then. So, yeah. Okay. Steven Gerrard, Frank Lampard. Ooh, it's going deep already. <laughs> I'm... Going Frank Lampard. What? Yes. You know why? You can't buy 15 to 20 goals can't, every season. Can't. You can't buy it. Bro. No, no doubt. I'll tell you what you're going to do. And I'm preempting already. What? You're going to talk about all round player. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm, no, no, no. I'm going to talk about this guy. You're on a battlefield with Steven Gerrard. He will drag you through the trenches. Yeah, he'll, have a, he'll have a fight with you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah Frank Lampard, well, Frank Lampard is going to be he's going to be he's going to be scraping his hair. <laughs> I'm not going to. Yeah, I, I don't mean, even know if I can answer. You got to that. You can't be sitting on the fence. <laughs> gold win games. Yo, the leader, bro. A leader. So Stephen Gerrard didn't leader, do for England either. Leader. Frank Lampard didn't leader, England, bro. But Gerrard didn't do. For a soldier, bro. That's this man's one. got your back. Lampard. He's scoring goals and running around by himself, bro. That's Andrew's man. I'm going with Dave. I'm going with Dave. I'm going with Dave. Yeah, man. I knew you'd come through. I knew you'd come through. Simply because he. Do you know how many goals you get to the midfield? Ooh, I know. Like it's, it's actually quite... I know it's ridiculous. Because you think about it now, you look and at what, what strikers are getting. Well. Yeah. Paying for strikers. Yeah. And, and the cost for those goals, the strikers now. Mm. Yeah, the hundreds mm. of... What's well, hundreds of millions yeah. you're paying for He's players now. And it's a, that's a midfield they're going to give you 20 goals a season? Mm. True, true. So you can see, you coming on our side now? No. <laughs> <laughs> Still going to go with Gerard. Guy's a soldier. They will drag you through the trenches. That's a hands man. That, that man will, if one, you're though. dying, you know, this man's going to pick you up and carry you. <laughs> if you get shot and wounded, the man's going to pick you up and carry you. And then they'll slip over so, and let so one in. <laughs> Slippy G. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. No, let me not <laughs> even, let me not even. No, bro. That was low. That was low. That was needed. No, 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 no. I love that, love that, bro. I love that. <laughs> Shout out. We've got a podcast called uh, Quality Control and we've got a section called Slippy G. Yeah. Yeah. The Slippy G moment where we talk football yeah. and everything. Yeah. Slippy. So, yeah, Slippy. Big it's interesting that your emphasis is all about fighting. Yeah. And grafting. and uh, Yeah, drag your uh, team through. L Lampard ain't doing that. You two nil down. Lampard's gonna be. You have a little bit more. He's always he's already bagged by then. Nah, bro. If you're on a downer, Lampard's he's he's gone. He's thinking about his girl. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you gotta look at as well. The higher level. Yeah. Lampard did it England level. That's international. That's because Gerard sacrificed. Gerard. You see, Ger Gerard that's his pitch. heart. No, didn't Gerard. Gerard didn't have a choice. No, no, pitch. yeah, because Gerard, 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 Gerard was a captain and for you know what, for the better good, I sacrificed. But anyway, we could talk that. Well, who do you support? I'm an Arsenal fan. Oh, same. We live in, Bir <laughs> in Birmingham. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, yeah. Same. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, Come on. I'm, I'm on business. All right, uh, this is pretty straightforward. Nike or Adidas? It's not straightforward. It's not straight. Is it not? Cool. Wow. It's not well, actually. Clothes and trainers and that night, but I wear Adidas boots. Okay, so Adidas, you Adidas, yeah, Adidas, Adidas boots. Okay. I think that's a good assessment, actually. The actual attire. Yeah. Nike are ahead. Mm. True, true. Definitely. Yeah. And uh, it's just down to personal preference mm. with, the, with the boots. Yeah. Because there are different... Types. You know, before they used to have like, Adidas, just, just had the Predator and the, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. one boot or whatever, you know? Yeah. But now they've got varying... Bits. Yes, mm -hmm. so it's ultimately down to your own. It is down to and your foot. foot. Yeah, <laughs> I'd wide foot. Puma. Yeah, broad Puma. Foot. A bit broad <laughs> Puma. Yeah, Puma King. Foot. Was it Puma <laughs> King? Get, get them. You can kick it further. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay. 
It was Puma Kings, isn't it? Puma King, but that was the boot. Yeah, bro. Yeah, that was my first patch. Was it? Was it? Pele things. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. He was a baller. <laughs> his parents bought you them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a baller. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, to take you back though, to Gola. You remember Gola boots? Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, not me. I used to dream about those boots. Yeah, man. Gola. Gola. Mickey, yeah, I'm going to score some goals. I got some goal around. You don't know, you don't know goal. No, you, no. Don't know. you don't know John Holt. You don't know, you don't know goal. What do you know? No, I can't add that. The new team. All <laughs> oh, good. Um, okay. Being as we've got two defenders in the house, uh, this was this was Roger who came up with this one. Okay. Shout out to Roger Moore. Van Dyke over Ran. Van Dyke. Van Dyke. Van Dyke. Oh, man. Yeah, Van Dyke is a beast, isn't he? Van Dyke. He's got everything you want. He has. It's right. Everything. It's just his greasy hair, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, he's still all right with it, isn't he? <laughs> you, know, you know, sign of a good defender is that you don't see him on the ground. Mm, true. Because he reads it, he's already mm. there, and he's got the pace so, anyway. Man. Yeah. So he's intelligent as well. True, it's, true. It's not just about, you know, he's a, he's a better version of, of Rio Ferdinand. Wow. Rio Ferdinand was a top, top, top player. Yeah. We was going to actually throw that one out there. Who is it? Rio and... Yeah, Rio or Sol Campbell. Oh, that's a no-brainer, Rio. Yeah. Wow. Everyone's just Arsenal dissing fans Arsenal well. fans as well. Man. Oh, but I've got to go with Rio, man. Yeah. I loved watching Rio. Yeah. Quality. Even Quality. Though I was a younger than me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, Beats by Dre or Apple Earpods? Ugh, they're different, though. <laughs> Pods a little and you get me and then you mm. got the big beats. But I use my I use my AirPods more. Mm. They're more you can use that for the like phone call, you can lose that to listen to music, but oh, okay. my beats, that's just music. So I have to go with the AirPods. iPads. Cool. Two more. Uh Trippy L Kai Walker. 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 I can't understand why he's not in the English setup to be honest with you. Mm. I went down to watch the game at City Tottenham. Yeah. The athleticism of that mm. that guy. Yeah, yeah. When it's because we were on pitch level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's ridiculous. Serious. He's like yeah, a stallion. Yeah. He's, he's like a, beast, a horse. Yeah, he's yeah. just yeah. He's got, so how can he not get in? I, I don't understand it. It's because um have I forgot his name? Trent. He's doing so well. Yeah, he's doing well. And yeah. then I haven't even watched any La Liga, but I'm hearing Trippy is doing well at Atletico mm, mm. so I can see but I think Trent has to be in there yeah, I, yeah. he should be starting for me yeah he's a, he's a better cross yeah, he's so one of the best crosses of the yeah, ball man, his delivery is, is, is ridiculous yeah he's I think he got he's just um, got the Guinness World Record or something for assist from a defender what yeah it's literally like three days ago I saw it but you know you know where, the way the game's gone now mm. is that full backs now are so influential yeah. offensively yeah. that they are the ones who are the creators yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and bringing about assists. Yeah. So as a prerequisite, really, they're the, mm. they're not just there for one-on-one defending. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're getting forward. Listen, mm-hmm. I've seen you do it. Yeah, man. Do you know? You know, I'm going to give you yeah. some props in there. <laughs> yeah. I've seen you get yeah. yourself forward because he's quick and and and, and strong. Yeah. You know, yeah. and uh, I've seen him get to the byline and getting crosses in, mm-hmm. and and it's. The way, without getting too much yeah, depth yeah. now, but the way systems are, yeah, yeah. fullbacks are wide, high and yeah, wide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes yeah. back to uh, the old Brazilians, Roberto Carlos and them type of days. Mm. Yeah, bro, Cafu. come on, and Cafu. Woo-hoo. They were fullbacks. Cafu, man. They were, weren't they? They were, man. Yeah. Right. And the, this one causes so much aggro. I know what you're going to say. I know, you, you know, know you know, in it, bro. You know, it. yeah. This one does cause just aggro after I have to ask yeah. it. I, I, I thought I'd just ask it once, but now it's just a regular question on this show. Messi, isn't it? Ronaldo or Messi? Messi. I knew he was going to ask that question. Messi. Messi. Thank you, bro. What are you doing? I don't, you know, where you just asked me that, then it's quite aggressive, you know. I'm, 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 I'm just trying to be I'm I'm coming here in peace. You know? <laughs> For me, it's it's not, I don't want to start no fight. I don't want to trouble. I don't want to trouble. I'm going for, I can tell you, I'm going for Ronaldo. Oh. And then, see that attitude, see that response there? It's unnecessary. Could, could you just listen to a brother first? All right, cool, I'm listening. You get I'm what listening. I'm saying? I'm listening. Now I'm going to speak, they've already switched up. <laughs> no, I'm not. Right, go on, okay. bro. All right. go on. This is why I'm going to say, because 
Maybe it's part of empathy, right? So it's, it's, it's an understanding. You feel sorry for him? I think he's worked so hard. The mm. diligence of, of, of saying he wanted to be number one, yeah. but believing himself to do it, mm. to work so hard with mm. a natural gift, okay? With the ability to beat players, but also done it at different clubs. Mm -hmm. He's done it internationally now. Mm -hmm. 700 goals. Mm -hmm. And he's changed his way of playing as well, from mm -hmm. going and literally just beating people and sometimes mm -hmm. his decision making not being mm -hmm. the best, but scoring goals, to now playing more centrally, getting into the box late, not play, playing late, linking in with players better. Mm -hmm. He's had to do more. Where I'm not just saying I'm not saying Messi is not just a natural footballer, mm. but what Ronaldo wasn't blessed with and what he's done with his body as well. Yeah, mm. I get that. I get that. Listen, what I've just thrown out there has just made you just change your mind. I know. Not at all, bro. Not at all. Not at all. So you're not so basically you're not, you're not hearing what I've got to no, say. No, I no, hear no, we hear what you're saying, bro. We hear what you're saying. So I've made some good points. You say Messi's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said Ronaldo's done it. Oh, he has he has done everything to get to here. Yes. You get me? He's done it to get to here. I'm listening, you know. He's behind. Yes. For me, he's still behind. But why though? What? Why? Because Messi, as he's, he's internationally, Messi he's, not done it. Argentina, he fell. Look what he's done. He doesn't matter, bro. He's he still the natural baller. Seven hundred goals. He's put on. He's gonna get for there. He's, he's gonna, gonna get there. Seven hundred goals. Yeah. He's what? Is, three, is he there? He's three years he's two, younger. Yeah, three, three years, years younger, younger than Ronaldo. In three years, he'll have more than seven hundred yeah. goals. He'll beat every record that Ronaldo set, bro. You know, I'm saying this to somebody. Okay, I say, I say this. Is it not safe? To just stay at Barcelona and know the system and be scoring but goals. If he, is the, look where he's gone. If he's going through the best, Real Madrid. Why are you going to go now lower? Here at Juventus. No, but and they, he's done it everywhere. Yeah, if, but he if I've come through run. the best and I'm at the best place, and it's the way he's going away. Yeah, exactly. He came through the system. How old was he when he joined Barcelona? He must be about two. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> he was he's, young. Yeah. Why would he want to leave? He's a he's a messy. He's going to be a legend. He's a phenomenal. I get it. That's what I'm saying. I totally get it. And I'm not dissing Messi in any way whatsoever. That's why I support. But at the same time, I look at the stats. Yeah. You gotta look at the stats for assists and goals and and the levels. Bro, and just looking bro, at the stats. I, this is the way this I put it. This is the way I put it. This is the way I put it to the last my, uh, my last guest. I says, You're playing five. Who you did play, you go for? Uh, mm. I, I'll tell you in a minute. He went for Ronaldo. You're playing on the top, are you playing in the playground? You got two players left to play. You picked your team. I says, who are you going to pick? He says he'd pick Ronaldo. I says, you know who I'm picking? I'm picking Messi because in a football, on the top playground, playing in school, mm. Messi is going to he's gonna brock 10 mans and he's going to score the winning goal. Ronaldo, he will get vexed. <laughs> he will walk off. He'll take his ball with him. You know, no, <laughs> that one. He's one oh, of them guys. Playing, I'm not playing no more. Yeah. You get, he won't want to get his trousers there. You see how Messi, Messi will tear his trousers up. You know, he, you know, you you know playing them school games, what bro. What playground got to do with anything? Well, because that's the rawest, fo that's the rawest form of football. Shirt. That's the that's rawest form of football. That's the rawest form together. of football. You get yeah. me where there's no, it's just, yeah, we're going to win. We gotta go. We gotta go into less of the win. To do with it. You get me? We're talking about that. Messi's gonna block ten now. man, and he's gonna We're score. We're talking about the Bernabeu. Bro. We're talking about winning European Messi, championships. Messi. Messi. Yeah, what's Messi. what's Messi won? Everything. Internationally. Internationally. No, he hasn't won anything. Okay, okay. done. But that that no, no, doesn't no, no, mean anything. What did George Best win? What did George Best win? We're talking about George Best in here right now. No, but I'm asking a simple question. What did George Best win? Exactly. So then I would make an assessment with George Best and go, no, I'm not having it in certain aspects. To be fair, because I think. It is about, and give them both credit, how you've handled yourself. Messi has handled yes. himself. Abs. It's Better than Ronaldo. Exquisitely. Exquisitely. 100%. Better than Ronaldo. But then you've got to look at the different areas. For me, this is my assessment. It's goes internationally. Done it. Domestically. Done it. Hard work. Done it. Now, tick those three boxes. Mm -hmm. Does Messi tick every one of those? Every one of those boxes. He's He's to work. International. Go through, go through. He's got to work hard. No, no, no. Me ask you about the ticking the boxes. Don't try and tick right. Those three boxes I've <laughs> yeah. just mentioned. Does he tick the boxes? He ticks two. He ticks two of them. He ticks two of them. He ticks two of them. But okay, then you could add more. You could you could more. You could add more boxes. Here we go. Here we go. You could add more boxes. This isn't. This isn't. You could add more boxes. This isn't. No, 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 no. This isn't. It's not an individual sport. Two of the three. Two of the three. But you could change the boxes. You could change. You could add more boxes. Six to three. Who scored the best goals? I come in peace. Who's? You see what she's doing? Tennis. Tennis. Boxes. Bro, who scored? 
scored the best goals. Any of them. How many? Two. Bro, you they see what I'm two. saying about it? You see what happens? The third one I ain't asking this question no more. It's I'm asking. Sport. Football's a team but sport. But that's how you evaluate when, it, isn't it? In, 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 in the world, at the end of the day, when he's putting it on plays, when he's just slotting it wide. You see what happens when you bring up Ronaldo and Messi people? Man, Brock out in fights, you know? When is my age, he's going to go, I didn't do anything. No, he's not going to say that. He's going to say, that man didn't help me. He's going to say to his grandparents and grandchildren, yes, I did it there. Granddad, did you win anything internationally? No, but I'm the no, best. I'm but I was the best. <laughs> but, but I was no, the best player in the world. Aguero and De Maria messed up for me. That's what you're gonna say. I, I was the best. I was still the best player in the world. I was still the best player in the world, but you know, never mind. That. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I did it without even get me. Yeah, I mean, there you have it, people, bro. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut out that question. <laughs> I'm gonna cut no, it no, out. No. I'm gonna cut it out. I'm cut it out, guys. Thank you ever so much for coming on this show. Bless me. This is how we do it, man. It's uh, Wes Harding, Dave Barney. It's a Gen Music special. Um, just a privilege to have these guys up here to talk faith, music, culture, church, and how it affects our lives. So until next time, guys, thank you. Uh, any last words? No Messi or Ronaldo talk. Any last words? No, man. Thanks for having me. No, no. Please. Pleasure to be here. Yeah, man. You sure, Dave? Yeah, you absolutely. You pleasure. You sure you don't yeah. want to say no more? Pleasure, pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, guys. And guys, until next time, See you. Uh, subscribe, log in, share with your friends. DJ Jamal, Gen Music, Gen Studios. Peace out.